Hello. So today I'm going to show you how I installed mods for Plan B Terraform. There's a really great mod pack that this user here has created for the game. So the way I kind of went through this is I found this Steam community forum post. I have it open right here. I'm going to have all the links in the description. So it should be pretty easy to just open. Um, and they kind of step through how to get it installed. And this was enough information for me, but I can understand how that might not be enough information for everybody. So first things first, you're going to want Bepinex. That's the second list or the second link I have here. You're going to want to download that first. So once you click that link, you should get to the screen. And the first is a 6.0 pre-release. And I'm going to skip this because, yeah, Bexanex 5 plugins will not work. So we're going to go down to the latest supported version, 5.4. And I'm going to download the 64-bit version. If you don't know what this means, you probably want the 64-bit version. Almost everybody these days has a 64-bit. But if you do have a 32-bit system, you're going to download the x86. So for 64-bit, I'm going to download that. And then I'm going to extract this into my Plan B Terraform directory. Now, if you don't know where that is, open up Steam, find Plan B Terraform in your Steam library, right-click, Manage, Browse Local Files. That opened up this window. So now I'm in my Plan B Terraform game directory. I'm going to copy this. This is called the path. And then I'm going to go back to my download, extract all, and I'm going to paste my game directory. Simply click extract. I'm going to, I've done this before, so yours probably won't say that, but if it does, just click replace. Um, so now in my game directory, I have this Pep and X folder. That's exactly how it should look. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to launch Plan B Terraform because Bepinex kind of has to initialize. I'm pretty sure you do not have to load a, a save, but I'm just going to load a save just to be safe. Okay. I'm going to quit. Okay. So now if we go back into the game directory, open up Bepinex, we should have all these directories. The one that we're most interested in is plugins. So now we're going to go back to our list of links. This is the actual mod pack. So we're going to open that up. I already have it open here, but just for the sake of going through the steps. Here are the releases. He's updated it as of five hours ago. So this is in current development. Um, if you are curious, you could just click on the main page. Like if you just click this right here, it'll bring you to the main page. This GitHub is for developers. So a lot of this probably won't mean a whole ton, but if you continue scrolling down, you'll get to the README. And then if you continue even further, you'll find an installation guide, if anything I've explained isn't clear. And then you will find a list of the current mods. So here are all the features. Each of these features will be in their own folder and you can pick and choose which ones you want. Um, and you can find quick little descriptions of what they are supposed to do. Uh, this is this is helpful, this screen here. So we're going to go back. I'm just going to download the zip of all of the mods. And then we can just pick and choose, pick and choose which ones we want. Open. Um, I am going to extract this into just somewhere in my documents. Plan B mod pack, whatever you want to call this, doesn't really matter. Um, if you want, if you knew for sure you wanted all the mods, you could just, just extract this into that plugins folder I showed you a minute ago. But I really don't want all of them. So I'm going to put them in there. It automatically opened this folder. So now I have this, this folder and my Bepinex. Again, this is the Plan B Terraform game directory that I opened from my Steam library. Uh, and then I went into the Bepinex folder. And then I have this plugins folder. If you don't have this plugins folder, something went wrong. And you, you might need to reinstall Bepinex or um, make sure you actually launch the game. Uh, if something does go terribly wrong and your game is refusing to launch, you can open up Steam, right click, properties, local files, verify integrity of game files. 
if your if your game is completely borked and you can't get anything to work, try that. Um, and then also, worst case scenario, Steam Cloud probably has your saves. So that that's kind of like a I don't know fail safe. So anyway, back to this. Open up the plugins folder, and we're just going to copy and paste all the features or cheats or mods or UI improvements that we want, and then paste them into this folder here. So what I like to use, I like to use population labels on my cities. I like to use, it's called, uh, yeah, navigate to point of interest. This is that handy menu on the right-hand side of my screen that lists my cities, and I'll, I'll show you another thing that I can do. Um, and then there's definitely one more, and it, it's uh, it's where I get the graphs, or not the graphs, but like, yeah, production statistics. So this is where you can see income, outcome, or outgo incoming and outgoing resources and how much you're using at any given moment. So these are the three that I've found to be the most useful. Um, as I said, you could go back to that screen and read the descriptions of the other ones, and if they sound interesting to you. Hotbar sounded a little interesting, but I haven't really, I don't know. I haven't tested it yet. Depot Priority, I played around with a little bit, but it didn't seem to work exactly as I had imagined, and it kind of made the depots, I guess, a little buggy. That could be fixed now, but also having Depot Priority felt a little overpowered, so I, I just kind of stopped using it. So that's that. We're going to close this out. We don't need any of these screens anymore. Um, and we're just going to launch the game, and everything should be there, even even if it's a world that you already have. Um, it should apply the mods. So we're going to go continue. And voila. So now we should have, we have a list of our cities and points of interest. If you're unfamiliar, these towers you can label them and then they will show up here and I can click and navigate to that point of interest. I'm super zoomed in. So if I want to check on New Houston, boom. Wow. Well, that did not work. There we go. New Barcelona, New Los Angeles, Iceland. Okay. That's how that works. Um, obviously, you can see the population listed underneath my city. That was one of the other folders that we selected. And then here's a list of production speed, consumption speed, the ratio. You can order it, uh, all the resources that you could generate or uh, consume. And this screen is useful. I haven't maximized my use of it at all, but it is there. And then you might be like, how do I close this screen? Because yeah, uh, you just click this. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I would recommend checking in on that GitHub page every now and then, the Plan B Terraform mod releases, and seeing what the developer, our David Karnock, um, see what he's done, because he seems to be actively developing it, making changes and improvements. Obviously, there are translations if you are uh, if you're in need of one of those. But I do speak English, so um, if multiplayer is interesting, especially interesting so early in the life of this game, I don't know uh, how that even works. But yeah, hopefully this helps.